as you know rbi exam notification also came now it is going to be very very crucial time period for rbi exam in rbi exam there is a section called general awareness so generally 80 questions will be given but the time here the most crucial part with respect to rbi general awareness section is even though 80 questions are there but you will not get even 1 minute for one question so it will be even less than half minute 80 questions but you will be allotted you will be given time only 25 minutes so this is according to last year's question paper 80 questions in 25 minutes you have to solve so this shows what should be the speed in handling general awareness now we can expect that if you want to analyze and answer 80 questions in 25 minutes means the length of the question should not be bigger one it is not like a upsc prelims examination when it comes to upsc prelims examination you have single statement questions of you two statement three statement four five six there is no limit so sometimes seven liner seven statement questions also used to come in case of upsc prelims but here as the time is 25 minutes 80 questions naturally examiner also knows that such kind of lengthy questions are not affordable to give in rbi exam so that's why 80 questions 25 minutes the nature of the questions also changes bit straight forward and if you understand the what kind of questions they are asking from the previous year pattern then while you are preparing for this session this session means for the next coming exam you can easily score more in general awareness just you need to identify certain areas where you need to focus so this is the first point you need to understand when it comes to rb general awareness more questions less time so naturally easy questions will be there but again when those who are preparing for upsc rbi is a very good backup option but the way you deal with upsc prelims is different the way you have to deal with rbi general awareness going to be different in fact this part is going to be easier comparing with upsc i will show you the questions also but there is a overlap between upsc and rbi the good part is you need not to read separate things for rbi whatever you are preparing for upsc automatically that section will be covered but only some extra focus is required on certain areas like numbers some factual part is very much required when it comes to rbi so now this part is done now let us see this these are the different questions which were asked in 2022 session because up uh, rbi used to conduct exams in shifts morning shift afternoon shift like that so this is one of the question papers in last year morning shifts now if you see these questions i have segregated here who is the author of the book my country my life so total 80 questions will be given total 80 questions will be given and in these 80 questions the subjects those who are already preparing for upsc these subjects from which subject they are asking is very much clear to you now if i say now you can see this if i apply filter here so 
so this is economy environment geography governance international polity science and tech social justice nowadays upsc is asking some questions from sports also but generally upsc do not touch with respect to sports much questions but we cannot be sure because last year also one question or two questions came from sports part also but the nature of questions will change the subjects are same so this is what what is the commonality between upsc and rbi concepts are going to be same same economy same environment same geography same governance current affair but with respect to rbi particular focus should be on current affairs at least last 6 months current affairs very very crucial and these question may be the subject may be economy but they will link with current affairs now let us see if we take economy now you can see in with respect to economy now these are the different categories just if we see the broader outline we will not touch about what is the topic they have given just if we categorize different type of questions we can categorize based on year so we can based on date for example some appointments will be there on which date or any particular scheme is launched with respect to economy on which date days some important days are going to come which industries some industries suppose in budget some industries will get lot of amount or specific sectors require special focus special attention both rbi as well as union government gives some kind of concessions to certain industries you need to remember them in which month in a particular a particular scheme is launched in which month so you can see the dates on which day a question can come on which month a question can come on which date also question can come and names names of the industries names of the schemes you can expect numbers and year in which year a particular development took place numbers rbi main focus is going to be the numbers i will see we will show we will see how questions are coming directly in different for example if we take now this date days industries month name numbers almost whether it is economy whether it is polity environment whatever may be the subject but these more or less are going to be the same now suppose if i select all whether it is economy environment now all i am selecting now if we select now you can see this so broadly these are the various things which you can we will go in detail we will go in detail how questions are coming with respect to numbers and year name but if you segregate all the questions you can see questions are related to numbers in which year name of the personalities appointments places suppose if it is a wildlife sanctuary or national park which place which state next which state awards schemes then abbreviations so country date teams industry skills winners month and ministries so this is the broad category irrespective of polity governance economy environment anything this is what we need to identify now let us see suppose and all these questions are somehow related with the objectives and goals of rbi so we know that rbi main function is to handle the governance of the banking system and monetary system we understand in order to understand this particular specific thing we need to understand the aims and objectives of rbi these are the aims and objectives of rbi from directly rbi website itself and this rbi website has listed out its aims and objectives directly from the rbi act so what rbi act says 
In preamble itself, we can identify its aims and goals. Now see, the purpose for which RBI has been established as India's central bank has been to spelt out in preamble to the RBI Act itself, which states as follows. If we read only which are highlighted, which are in bold, you can see issue of banknotes, operate the currency, credit system of the country. So now you can see it all related to the numbers. How many crores of rupees? How many millions, billions, trillions? Our India's GDP. So all these are related to numbers, statistics. Very, very crucial for running the RBI because it is dealing with the money. Then challenge monetary policy framework. So this monetary policy framework is all talking about controlling the inflation, repo rates, reverse repo rates. Challenge of an increasingly complex economy, maintain price stability, keeping in mind the objective of the growth. So growth on one hand, price stability on the other hand. So these are the two major aspects, one with respect to monetary policy, second with respect to keeping in mind the growth. However, itself says, however, these are the, not the only two objectives of RBI. There are other aspects. You can see these are various. These are various. However, the functions which RBI is undertaking is not restricted only within the provisions of this, but also extends regulation and supervision of banks, consumer protection, foreign exchange management of governance securities, regulation and supervision of payment systems. And these are the various. So this shows the functions of RBI are large. Now, all these are now given in the table of content here it shows market operations, financial stability, financial system, regulation of commercial banks, supervision of commercial bank. This will give you an idea that how RBI operates. Now, whenever any issue related to these functions, which is coming in the current affairs, now that can be a potential question in RBI. Now, if we categorize, these are various issues that we can see. So with respect to RBA, the main functions of RBA monetary policy. So it could be repo rate, reverse repo rate, bank rate, all the interest rates which are controlled by RBA, monetary policy, and other functions like banking, controlling or regulating the banking sector. Now this RBI has to function in accordance with the developmental goals of the country, growth. So this also RBI should keep in mind. For this growth, one is RBI, second one, fiscal policy. So fiscal policy means the steps taken by the budget or government of the day for promotion of the growth. So on one hand, fiscal policy, on one hand, monetary policy are very, very important steps in stabilizing the economic system of any country, including India. Now you can expect questions here, questions here. Those who are preparing for UPSC, these two aspects are not something new. They are always in RBI. These are the very 
in economy of upsc this is the heart of upsc preparation but with respect to rbi particularly you need to focus on numbers both with respect to budget budget numbers and with respect to upsc exam generally conceptual is asked suppose if there is any particular scheme and what are the provisions of the scheme who are the intended beneficiaries again it is not straight forward one statement two statement three statements multiple angles are clubbed together to form single question but with respect to rbi simply it will ask this scheme belongs to which ministry or in budget for this scheme how much money is allocated number how much money what is the repo rate on which date repo rate was introduced on which date an appointment or who was appointed for a particular committee likewise factual part numbers people places all these things will come so this is broadly you need to have some idea so every question more or less almost all questions are in tune with the rbi's functions objectives this is one part next one more of the questions are directly related to current affairs few questions can come from static also but if we take current affairs now this is how you can see broadly questions will come monetary policy news related to banks rbi national banks private banks in india so private banks related questions appointments national banks what is the percentage of government's share rbi share or promoters share rbi related then fiscal policy budget allocation schemes central schemes state schemes numbers how much money is allocated in the budget when it was introduced what is the purpose of that which ministry single liner single liner business news acquisitions mergers important appointments if any big industry has taken any decision any appointment has taken very important one sebi sebi related because with respect to economy sebi handles business related and rbi policy has to be in tune with government budget also sebi or internal indian markets as well as international markets then if there is any report indices they will ask again numbers what is the rank of india what was earlier rank and what is the present day rank if there is any summit conferences directly in which city conference was held in which state a meeting was held science and technology news if there is any science and technology development if there is any isro related defense related or missiles related anything that could be which is very very important in the news they will ask then gk based sports news military exercises all these questions that's why in the last 6 months very very important current affairs can be asked in addition to that awards also can be asked now you can see this some of the static based questions if we want to because this may change mostly every question more or less are connected with the current affairs but if we want to study some static bank then we need to focus on this like list of dams temples unesco world heritage sites award winners national parks wildlife sanctuaries bird life bird sanctuaries art and related like dances festivals abbreviations because these are the some of the things which are related to the static part so this is how broadly this part if you can handle in current affairs then more or less your current affairs or rb general awareness question explanation or your preparation is done because 80 questions only 25 minutes in 25 minutes 80 questions means you should be able to read very fastly that means question size also should be very very straight question size should be very small statement should be very straight and option should be very simple then only a student can read read and answer it 80 questions in 25 minutes now let us see with this backup with this idea let us go to questions because only when you see the questions you will have better idea about how questions are being asked now you see first let us segregate this
if we take economy let us see in economy what type of questions are coming So these are all questions around uh, out of 80 total 80 questions were there I could collect 57 around it because it was computer based exam so full length questions only some people could recollect or collect it now in economy now you see date economy based question but the nature of the question will be decided by this this is what the major difference when it comes to UPSC. Repo rate has been revised recently by RBI. On which date was the revision made? Now you see, in UPSC, the concept behind repo rate is the question. But with respect to RBI, repo rate has been revised recently on which date? In UPSC preparation, generally, we won't focus on days, dates, month, factual part. But those who are preparing for RBI, little attention is required on this also. And very easy, you can answer this with respect to date. Now, with respect to days, on which day is the coal miners' day observed? Environment day, coal miners' day. It's like a May day, environment day, international Pravasi Divas. So like this, important days, on which day is coal miners' day? they observe then industries on which day is the coal miners industries in india highest employment is generated in which sector so like this you see unemployment rate employment rate which industry is providing which if you take gdp numbers which sector when it comes to upsc you need not to worry about exact numbers broadly you can understand this much 50 to 60 percent agriculture, 20 to 25 industry, or remaining things, service sector. Broadly, you can have, still, you can write a very good answer also, and you can deduct the answer in UPSC prelims. But here it is not that. Highest employment is generated here. Number. And what is the exact percentage of contribution of service sector in industry? So like that, you can expect the questions. Now, month. In which month? In 2022, GST collection has crossed 1.5 lakh crore mark. Now you see, for UPSC, GST and GST related, all the other aspects, conceptual part is focused. But here you need to see GST collection, this 1.5 lakh crore also can be a question. So they may ask, in the following month, in 2022, GST collection, GST collection has crossed how many crores, how many lakhs of crores? 1.5. So that number, wherever you see the number, potential question in RBI. So likewise, irrespective of economy or polity, that's when now I will select everything here. Whether it is environment, economy, geography, it doesn't matter. We will see the nature of questions from here. You can see how, suppose if a question is related to abbreviation. Now you see, in DSE portal, E stands for. This E portal E stands for. So likewise, anything which is in the news, full form, you need to have full focus on the abbreviations. Sometimes a scheme, a particular scheme is designed with the initial letters of scheme name will be very long, but it will be very popular or popularized by the government with the initial letters of that long scheme. And it can ask, what is the abbreviation? So it could be governance related, anything economy related. It can be international organization also. Because UN, simple, I am taking the example. What do you, abbreviation, UN means, United Nations. IMF, International Monetary Fund. So abbreviation, likewise, 
you need to have some kind of idea. It doesn't matter what, which is subject. So abbreviations, so like this, examples. Now next, appointments. Now you see, personality related appointments. Who is the Google policy head of India? Which is in current news. Those which are in the news, they will ask those people. Previous, old people, they will not ask, but the latest appointments. Who is the next chairman of FATF and which country does he belong to? You see? FATF, Financial Action Task Force, is an, impo is an important topic with respect to UPSC. They may ask, in UPSC also, they can ask, where is the headquarters? In RBI also, they can be asked, where is the headquarters? But with respect to UPSC, they simply will not ask headquarters alone. They may mix with the two, three statements. FATF function is this. FATF headquarters is this. FATF uh, recently particular country, blacklist, gray list, likewise. Now you see here, who is the next chairman of FATF and which country does he belong to? The facts which we generally ignore and not required for UPSC prelims are important with respect to RBA. Next appointment, Central Intelligence Agency has appointed Dash as CIA's first ever chief, chief technology officer. So likewise, Important personalities, appointments. So now you see, within 80 questions, three questions are appointment related. Many questions, now if you take the numbers, more than 10 questions, 10 to 15 questions are going to be the numbers itself. Next, authors. Book name, author name. In UPSC, we are not at all, unless it is generally history related. In current affairs, current affairs related questions, with respect to books, we generally won't expect in UPSC prelims, unless it is historical, like uh, during freedom struggle or independence movement or ancient time period. Important authors we get as part of art and culture. But here, who is the author of the book, My Country, My Life? Next one, awards. Peacekeeping medals were given by the United States to which country? COVID champion award has been bagged by which airport? Whenever awards you can take from Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, Padma Sri, anything, Gnan Peet Award, Art and Culture Related Awards, or important Pulitzer Prize, Nobel Prize, anything, it could be anything which is very important. So these awards are going to be. Now, two, three awards. Now we can categorize numbers, 15 questions, appointments, three, four questions, awards, two, three questions. Country, Cyclone Asani named by which country? So country names, state names, names of these factual part. Then only, so now you see the length of the question also, simple. Cyclone Asani named by which country? But with respect to UPSC, they may ask the concept behind the cyclone. But here, just name which country. Otherwise, you cannot read 80 questions in 25 minutes. Now you see date. Repo rate has been revised. RBA, this one. Next, days. Now you see, on which day is the coal miners day? Observed, old environment day, each day. So likewise, you need to collect all the awards, all the days, all the important dates, years. Next one, industries. In India, highest employment is generated in which industry? Ministry, National Forensic Science University comes under which ministry? In UPSC also sometimes questions will be asked, which ministry? Then month, in which month the GST collection has crossed? So now you can see numbers related. If we write this, if we categorize it, days, old environment day, like in June, oh, International Women's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, like this, days, date also, on which date, then month, 
which month which year so with respect to time so with respect to time these are the categories you can expect next with respect to let's go there names which country will provide an additional sustainable development aid so which country country name which organization does not work under financial stability board which organization sbi card signed a deal with which technology company which is india's indigenous train accident system now if we write some names it could be state name it could be state it could be country if it is india which state if it is country which country then so here suppose if i write geography locations then it can be which city within india which city so here we are not worried about what is the topic but ultimately question will be related to in which state that particular development the development could be related to governance maybe some scheme was launched that development could be some kind of a technological park started that could be something like a industrial park industrial hub started state and which which country which country means in which country particular development happened it could be volcanic eruption took place somewhere or some kind of uh, some kind of uh, headquarters so country which country in which headquarters it is located important organizations now if we take organizations in india it could be which ministry so ministries used to take different decisions so sometimes a particular budget will be allocated to particular scheme or particular organization will be promoted through certain kind of concessions so ministry related then any banks bank name it could be industry name which industry the name of the industry the name of the bank name of the ministry you can see all related to state name country name city name headquarters town name organization names so you need not to worry about the concept but you need to just remember the fact organization name ministry name bank name industry name so see which is the technology name this is the most important part with respect to rbi now you see out of 60 questions out of 57 only i could not collect all the 80 out of 57 15 questions there so if i take all the 80 it would be more than 20 so now see how many numbers now if we categorize numbers to categorize numbers now you see different ways of asking the numbers what is the ratio of ownership in rrb ownership according to nfh national family health survey what is the male to female ratio that is sex ratio in india according to the latest states of world forest report what is the percentage of forest forest percentage sex ratio ownership ratio how much allocation has been made to particular mission then what is india's ranking ranking position what is the relationship between bond yield bond rates and prices percentage and what was the allocation of the power sector how much allocation inflation sex ratio what is the minimum requirement number how many beneficiaries now you see in upsc generally they give different beneficiaries women unemployment unemployed old people these are the beneficiaries of a scheme something like that but here how many number of beneficiaries after national education policy what is the allocation 
then how much additional subsidy is allocated how many members are there in oecd organization now you can see so when it comes to numbers it can be index it can be a rank different reports different rankings then ratios it could be percentages how much percentage of ownership sex ratio forest percentage forest area wise how much percentage then with respect to gdp it can be agriculture percentage say industries percentage service sector percentage then budget amount budget amount how much budget is allocated to the scheme how much revenue how much revenue generated how much expenditure so number rank ratio ownership so these are various different types of numbers you need to have some idea about different types of numbers so date wise days date month year so whenever you find in current affairs these things grab it whenever you find state country city headquarter name grab it ministry bank names industry names any name and with respect to numbers any rank any ratio any budget amount grab that fact the world state of forest report is published by organization name so here we have written organization name of the organization this organization could be indian organization this could be india it could be world level also could be india also it could be world level also next one now you can see different places what is the venue of environmental conference conference place largest geological park asia's largest event in civil aviation jointly organized by so in which location within india which location at the world level also what is the place now one more you try to focus on this adjectives largest longest fastest so largest it could be longest bridge largest number largest geological park largest event so what is the venue of international conferences next one schemes azadi se antyodaya tak interministerial campaign has been announced for which section of the people jharoka scheme has been launched in how many states now you see state name could be one question how many state is another question how many countries suppose if you have some organization oecd organization united nations organization bimstec asean sarc question can be how many states are there in that particular grouping so schemes next one skills a sim portal related to what so the name of the scheme so scheme names scheme means which ministry it is released beneficiaries who are the beneficiaries how many beneficiaries so who are the beneficiaries also can be a question how many beneficiaries is another question next one state which of the following state is the winner of 
when it comes to sports here if we take sports mostly the winner and this winner could be a team name if it is a domestic one which state if it is international which country or who was the person if it is individuals game who who is the winner of that particular game team who is the runner up to pro kabaddi league held recently runner up winner also runner up also so these are the things which you need to collect next one winners kelo india university championship who won the which university so who were the participants which year now you see year it could be day date month year project venus of isro to be launched in which year next year establishment year bimstech oecd establishment year in which year was federal reserve established in usa so this shows now this is how numbers everywhere numbers factual part now broadly if i consider so this is how those 80 questions 80 questions will come from general awareness concept or the topics subject wise same economy those who are preparing for upsc same economy same environment same international but for rbi just to focus on this if you focus on these almost 60 to 70 questions will be covered in these areas days date month year which state which country which city in india or which country outside world name of the organization name of the ministry banks industries different companies different appointments in which so appointments done by different companies if it is important development which company who was the person name banks which is the bank who was the person name a banks can take a some certain kind of a technological technology wise some banks may introduce certain revolutionary technology which bank what is the technology numbers rank in reports indices what is the rank india's rank 50 60 70 ratio ownership ratio rbi has certain kinds of ownership or government has ownership private ownership public ownership forest percentage sex ratio unemployment ratio employment ratio gdp percentage gdp numbers so budget allocation how much for a particular scheme largest longest fastest then if it is a scheme related which ministry who is the beneficiary how many beneficiaries sports winner runner winner comes winner means that could be a single person a winner a single state or single organization or a country these are the things which you need to have focus so this is broad view about how to handle general awareness while you are reading current affairs which areas you should give special attention we will end this class just by seeing what is the difference so i will take few questions the same questions rbi also asked similar type of questions upsc also asked we will see what difference you will identify here you can see so whatever broad outline i have given you in that outline you will see the questions this was whatever i have given you that was based on 2022 last year examination this question paper was before that in the recently released global innovation index india's rank has improved to 48 in the year 2020 its rank in the year 2019 was now you see what was in 2019 and what is present 
they are asking in this year this is what was the rank earlier 50th 54 56 like this if you take india uh, upsc same particular global innovation index can be asked but upsc asks which organization it will give or what parameters this global innovation index is considering if old bank releases certain report which parameters old bank considers in giving the ranking that kind of question in upsc you can expect but here in rbi which number international atomic energy has recently released once again report again india is just home largest consumer or what is the number so likewise which state west bengal gujarat kerala state jodhpur visakhapatnam pune dehradun balasor city name then pantry apparel store courier store book store the purpose of this organization amazon then particular scheme is related to education health or employment then ministry name and mobile app technology wise which mobile app then bank names equitas bandhan ashirwad arohan kinsi jaipur udaipur shikar ranathambore national park national park is located union budget number 1 trillion 1.02 0.9 trillions numbers so likewise you will find places numbers more or less it will fit in that framework now you see let us see in upsc similar type of concepts how upsc in prelims they are asked now you see this is upsc prelims question which of the following gives global gender gap index ranking in the countries in 2017 upsc question which of the following this organization this organization or which organization is giving this report now you see the concept behind a particular index in rbi what is the ranking that simple question one question but in upsc they may ask the concept behind that particular indices global hunger index report what are the indicators used by it undernourishment child stunting child mortality now you see the concept is coming as an exam as a question in upsc but with the rbi number now there was one question with respect to international energy agency that was an organization it is releasing an report in rbi it was asked what is the rank of india with respect to prelims upsc now you see international energy agency in partnership with climate group launched a global initiative three statements different uh, organizations are coming together different developments will come together it becomes three statement four statement question also so likewise questions will be asked now which one of the following is not a sub index of world bank ease of doing business index in rbi what is india's ranking but in upsc here you can see maintenance of land order paying taxes registering property dealing with the construction permits different sub indices so this shows conceptual clarity is very much required when it comes to upsc prelims even though if you don't remember the ranking of india it will not hurt you in upsc prelims but when it comes to rbi exam even if you are not worried about concept no matter but collect the fact collect the rank collect the number collect the state collect the organization these are sim so many such questions there is huge overlapping when it comes to subject and concept topics subject and topics between upsc prelims and rbi but the nature of questions will change between rbi and prelims so collect as many facts as possible just to follow these headings or this segregation in the last 6 months current affairs any days if something is there in the news collect it date month year you collect it state if any state is in the news if any country is in the news any organization in the news you collect it then numbers particularly you give 
at least 25 to 30 percent of the questions are coming from numbers minimum 25 to 30 percent numbers that's why always focus whenever you see the number with respect to current affairs collect it then if you see some kind of adjective first some development could be first which is the first time in indian history so first time in indian polity indian economy like that first fastest longest largest you collect it then any scheme means this aspect sports again names of the people names of the teams names of the state names of the countries names of the places where these trophies are held all these factual part so if you follow this you can fastly you have sufficient time take the current affairs at least six months last six months you fastly pick up these facts and you can crack rbi exam for those who are preparing for upsc rbi exam is a very backup very good backup option those who want to pursue rbi as a career it's a very banking career rbi exam is the best place to work so all the best so this is how you can look you can take a look at general awareness in rbi exam thank you if you have any questions feel free to ask you can comment in the video or you come to the office directly interact with our faculties your doubts will be clarified thank you thank you very much